In this video I'm going to show you how to install the CRM desktop software. When you sign up for the CRM system you will be sent an email with a link to the CRM program. When you have downloaded the installer you can run the installation program. The installation program will take you through the steps that are required to set up the CRM desktop synchronization software. To install the software simply click on the next button. The program is normally stored under your program files folder. If necessary you can change the name of the program manager group that will appear on your start menu. However in most cases you will simply click the next button. Once you have done this you are ready to install the Web Ninja software. To start configuring the desktop software click on the finish button. Once you have successfully installed the CRM synchronization program you will find that you have a new icon on the screen. This icon is used to run the synchronization software. The first thing that we need to do is enter our configuration values. These values are supplied in the email that you will have received from Web Ninja. To start the CRM synchronization program double click on the Web Ninja CRM icon. Once you have done this you can use the configure option to enter the values from the email. In this screenshot we have already entered all of the values. It is important that you enter the security key and password correctly. These two fields are case sensitive. Once you've entered the values you are ready to test the connections. The first thing that we will need to test is the security key. To do this we click on the test key button. If you have entered the correct key you will be shown this dialog box. If you do not get this dialog box you need to double check that you have entered the correct key. The next thing that you need to test is your ODBC connection and your FTP connection. To test the FTP connection click on the test FTP button. In our case we have entered the incorrect password for our FTP connection so we need to double check our email from Web Ninja. After entering the correct password we are ready to test the FTP connection again. This process may take a few seconds. If you have entered the correct login and password details you will receive a dialog box to tell you that the connection is OK. If you do not get this dialog box you need to double check your password. If you are sure that the password is correct, you need to contact Web Ninja support for further help. The next thing that we will test is our ODBC connection. We do this by clicking on the Test ODBC button. This test completes very quickly. If you do not receive a dialog that tells you that the connection is OK, once again you will need to contact Web Ninja support for further help. In most cases where the connection does not work the first time, you will find that your firewall is blocking access to our web server and you often need to make a small configuration change on your Windows system. Now that you have set up the web server details, the next thing that you need to do is set up the desktop software. The settings that you enter in this screen will depend on the accounting package that you use. The accounting package can be selected from the pull down menu at the top of the screen. Each accounting package has different settings. By default the synchronization software will update your CRM system every 15 minutes. You can change this process to be longer or shorter depending on your needs and in some cases you may select the manual option. If you select the manual option the accounts in CRM will only be synchronized when you click on the update button. Depending on your accounting package you can decide if you wish to synchronize your accounts, contacts and quotes. You can also decide if you wish to allow the CRM system to create new accounts in your accounting package. The last thing that you need to set up is how your emails are sent from your CRM. Your emails are sent using your local ISP. You will need to enter the values supplied by your ISP into these spaces. If you are unsure of these values you can often find them on the website of your ISP or in your Outlook program. An important option on this screen is the rate that emails are sent out. By default the emails are set to go at zero per hour. 
This means that no emails will be sent by the CRM system. Many ISPs only allow you to send a set number of emails per hour. If you send more emails than this, the emails are often dropped, or you may even be blacklisted as a spammer. By setting a value in this box, you can throttle the rate that the emails are sent out. Most ISPs will be able to handle a value such as 500 or 300 in this box. If you want to get optimum performance, you should contact your ISP to find out how many emails they allow you to send per hour. Now that you've set up your email settings, you're all ready to go. The last step of the process is synchronizing the data with your CRM system. To do this, we click on the Update Now button. If you've told the CRM system to update at a regular frequency, this will happen automatically. However, in our example, we're going to click on the Update Now button. You will notice that the system goes through and reads the accounts, contacts and quotes from your accounting package. It then packages the data up and sends it to your CRM system. Any changes that you have made in your CRM will also be reflected back into your accounting software. If you now log on to your CRM, you will find that all your data from your accounting package is available in the CRM system. With the help of your dealer or WebNinja support, you can customize your CRM to include custom fields. You can also modify the synchronization scripts to include the extra data that you require.